Hi, I'm Sean Gannon. This is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, a minus c equals d minus r, and we're going to solve that for a. Okay, we're going to solve that for a. Well, how can I get a by itself? So what I need to do is I'm actually going to add, well, I'm going to rewrite my equation, a minus c equals d minus r. I'm going to, we're solving for a, so to get a by itself, I'm going to add a c to both sides. Well, there's no like terms here, so we're left with a by itself equals d minus r plus c. Okay? And that's basically it, right? That's basically it. We can, we're done. a is isolated with d minus r plus c. Um, I think the, the, was the worksheet I have here says we should rearrange and have c come first, c plus the d minus r. It really doesn't matter. If your teacher gets you, is nitpicky about that, that's annoying. Uh, but either way, both is right, or both are right. So we're left with the final answer here. I use my commutative property and sing c out front, but it doesn't really matter. But the final answer is a equals c plus d minus r. So let's recap. Pretty simple problem. A minus C equals D minus R, and we're solving for A. Rewrote my equation. Then I just added a C to both sides. Opposite of that subtraction, leave me A by itself equals D minus R plus C. Totally done. I'm, I, I would accept that totally right there. You know, worship for some reason um, it needs to have this C out first, but it really, it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, six one way, half dozen other. Uh, some people might say, well, have the addition first, then the subtractions, whatever. It doesn't matter. But either way, our final answer is A equals D minus R plus C. Or, in this case, A equals C plus D minus R. They're both the same thing.